Hey guys, Toxic Flames, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Drift Miata series. Today, we're going to be going with some custom Galaxy door cards. First thing we're going to show you is what you need. Alright, so this project's pretty simple. Basically, all you need is some sort of fabric. I went with this Galaxy themed fabric, got it on Amazon, link will be in the description. I went with 100 by 150 centimeters, that should be more than enough to do the door cards, as well as the shift boot. And then for the adhesive, I went with this 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Uh, goes for bonds, foils, plastics, paper, metals, and cardboard. The door cards are made out of cardboard, and we're just going to be attaching this cloth, so this should do the trick. Alright, so let's we'll start by removing the door card. The hardest part by far is removing the window crank. So I already have mine removed, but basically what you're going to see is you're going to have this like clip thing, and what you're going to want to do is, while it's still attached to the door, you have to pull back on this, pop it out, and then pull back on this, pop it out. And once that happens, then this door crank should just come off very easily. Alright, next thing we're going to do is remove this door handle piece. So to remove that, just grab a star screwdriver, and you want to take off the screw that you can see inside. Once you have that, then you just want to open the door as if you were trying to get out of your car, and this should just pop out. Easy. Alright, last thing you do is remove this armrest. So to do that, you have a screw down here in this hole, another one down here in this hole, and then for this one it's being covered up. So we're just going to grab a flathead screwdriver, pop that off, and it exposes the screw. Alright, when all three screws are removed, they should easily just come off. Don't lose track of these bolts. Uh, for us, we're going to be installing a arm like pull cord thing. So we're going to need this bolt and this bolt, and we're going to run like a rope from there to there, just so you can pull to close the door. More on that later. Okay, now that everything's off the door, the door card should just pop off. Use some sort of prying tool, and you just want to pop off all the tabs. Pop off the ones here. Alright, this looks kind of like dog shit. And then I believe this should just slide up. There we go. Uh, so this leather we're not going to be reusing, but as for this armrest for when you want to put your hand out the window and cruise like a cool guy, we're going to be saving this leather. So these are stapled together, you can see here they're stapled together, so we're just going to have to remove those staples. Alright, now they should be separated. So we're going to put this over there, maybe clean it up, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I care enough. And then here's the door card. So you can see it's basically just cardboard on the other side. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is you just gotta pull back all these tabs and we're basically going to remove the existing uh, foam and leather. All right, so I got the leather removed and then I placed it over the Galaxy fabric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace out all around where this leather was, including all the little tabs for attaching it to the back. All right, so once you've traced around the leather, then you can just remove this. Eat. And now we just have to take a pair of scissors and basically cut everywhere that we outlined. So I finished cutting out the fabric. I didn't cut a hole for the window crank yet because when I pull the fabric tight, I'm not sure where the hole's gonna be. I did cut out like a smaller hole for the door handle, but it can move around as I pull this tight as it's drying. So now what we gotta do is you want to flip it over here and you want to spray the adhesive on. Okay, so time to apply the fabric glue. All 
All right, so I just got back inside from spraying this and you wanna wait till it's tacky. So if you put your finger on it and you pull it off, you should have no residue on your finger. So it's been about 30 seconds and it's time to put this on the fabric. That looks pretty good. So now we're gonna flip it over. And for all these tab pieces, we're gonna have to spray some adhesive on the back and glue these down. So I'm just gonna give it a little spray around the tab areas. If some areas start coming up, you can just like grab anything you want. I don't really have much good stuff, so I'm just gonna use these clips, like binder clips, <laughs> and just put them over here while it dries. All right, so I went ahead and I cut these little tabs out for the door handle part. Don't worry about getting exact because there is a piece of trim that'll go around uh, this hole anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it looks perfect. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, I also, now I know exactly where the uh, window crank hole is going to be, so I can cut a hole for that as well. Alright, so again, grab your sauce and let's spray it. Alright, now the glue is tacky and we're going to fold in all these pieces. Now a message from our sponsor. No, I'm just kidding. I was using this to uh, just help press this down because I applied too much of the fabric glue to the cardboard and it started to warp a little bit. So make sure you don't apply too much. It really doesn't take much. It's pretty sticky stuff. Uh, so now if we flip this over, voila, the finished product. You see, it's pretty good. There's a few little wrinkles. Uh, I wish I pulled the, probably pulled it a little bit tighter while it was drying, but Honestly, not too bad for a shitty drift car. Now we're just going to remove all these clips. Alright, and now we're going to go outside and apply this to the car. Alright, so now we're going to install this door card, but before we do that, I'm going to have to puncture two holes. Uh, I'm going to go with one here and one here, and then I'm going to hang a rope to basically pull the door closed. So I need to puncture two holes. Thank you. Hood man shank. Put a little hole right in the middle. All right, now the two holes have been made. Now we're just gonna pop this back on the car. Next thing is this door handle trim. So you wanna just lock the door, pull the door open, and then slide this on. It's not gonna pop in like all the other pieces, but once it's in place, take a Phillips screw, 
It uses the tiniest one out of everything on this door. Just put it in and then just screw it in. All right, now we're gonna do the door crank. So take the trim piece, place it on here, and then you're gonna take this clip, you're gonna put it partially on. So it's gonna be sitting in those little groove things you see. So now I've got it part of the way on. I'm gonna place it on here. And I'm gonna take this flat head and then just press it in. There you go. Now the door does not come off. All right, now for the door handle part that you pull, we're gonna go with this piece de resistance. So I had a weird thing with paracord. Um, so yeah, I just wove this out of paracord. Uh, you can basically buy paracord on eBay for like 100 feet for like 10 bucks or whatever. Uh, and then the specific weave I went with was the uh, modified curling millipede for anyone that's interested. And it's about 37 millimeters in length. But you could just go with any piece of string, just 37 millimeters in length. Centimeters, sorry. All right, so you should have three screws left. I took the longest screw, which is the one that goes in the top, and I put it through a hole in this paracord handle. Now I'm just gonna take a Phillips screw. You just wanna feel around. And then just screw this in. So now I have to do the exact same thing on the other side. I won't bore you with that. And then after I'm gonna show you how to make the shift boot. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the shift boot. In order to access the shift boot, there is five screws you have to remove. Uh, one here, one on the other side, and then in your like drink holding thing. Once you've removed all of them, screw off your shift knob, and now this should just come straight out. As you're removing it, just be mindful of the gas tank pull release thing. And it's gonna remove that. Flipping this over, you can see there's four Phillips screws holding it on. It's gonna remove these. We're just gonna, we can see this little pins holding it on. We're just gonna pull these out. Alright, so once you have the shift boot, we're going to flip it inside out. There's one, two short triangles, and then there's one and two slightly fatter triangles, but they're all isosceles triangles. So what I did was I just took a ruler and then I measured them, and the measurements are right here. So the thicker one has a base of 13 centimeters, the thinner one has a base of 11 centimeters, but they both have... Uh, side heights of 14 centimeters on each side for both of them. The flap here, this part here is two centimeters and then this overlap right here, just for sewing, it overhangs by, this part is 0 0.75 centimeters. So what you're gonna wanna do is just trace that onto a piece of fabric, like so. And then, so this is for the thinner triangle, so we have two of them. So you can take that and just lay a second piece of fabric over top of it. And then we're just gonna cut it out. All right, so once it's cut out, you, sh you should have two triangles. Uh, so this was the one with the drawing on it. And then for this one, I just drew these lines back in so I know uh, when I'm sewing where to sew along the lines. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna get to the sewing part. All right, so we sewed these four triangles together. Something to keep in mind is that the thicker triangles don't sew directly to each other, and by that I mean they're on opposite sides. So this is the first thick triangle, and then if you flip it over, that's the, oops, that's the other thick triangle, and then on the sides are the thin triangles. Actually, when you put this back on the shift boot, which will be here, you'll notice that the thin triangles are actually the ones that go front and back of your car. And yeah, so basically flip it inside out. When you're sewing, you wanna make sure that you leave a hole big enough to uh, fit the shifter through. And yeah, now if we take a look at the old shifter, it has these little uh, pinholes made so that it can hook into these 
individual tabs. So we're just going to make holes that line up with this and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so now we have the shift boot and we have this retainer piece. So what you want to do is, so the shift boot is basically going to sit down like this. So uh, with these like two scoop things on the right and make sure that this like shaft thing is going down. Anyway, so the shift boot is going to go over it and then it's going to hook into these clips. And when you put the center console on, it basically sandwiches between. All right, now it's hooked on. You just want to take your center console and place it inside. And yeah, that looks good. Make sure nothing is like wrinkled. <clears throat> All right, and then take your tiniest screws and you just want to put them in here. All right, so don't thread it in too much or else you'll strip the thread like I just did. Um, so yeah, now it's good. We're just going to put the center console back in. Just hook it through the gas tank thing. And oh, before you do that, make sure you plug in this. And make sure everything is good and you like the way it looks. If so, now we're gonna put in the four screws, or the five screws, sorry. Alright, put this little cover thing in, but you know, actually we're not going to because weight reduction. And last of all, put this shift boot on. Or the shift knob, sorry. Absolutely beautiful. Finished product. Now we're going to skip some B-roll. like the video don't forget to like it and subscribe if you want to see more in the drift miata series next episode we're going to be doing some more interior mods installing some ebay parts i bought that finally came in and it's going to be dope see you guys next time